In a month's time, Australians will complete the 2016 census with the data to give the most detailed picture yet of Australia's cultural diversity. On the issue of religion, Catholicism is at risk of losing its status as the most popular faith. Australia's five yearly headcount is looming, primed to give us an up-to-date snapshot of who we are and how we live. Which helps with the planning of services, education, employment programs, transport and other infrastructure like health. More than 39,000 temporary staff will travel the combined equivalent of 195 trips around the world to collect the information. More than 10 million households and 24 million people will Will be surveyed, all of it adding up to three trillion cells of data. And that data will reveal more than ever before about the country's multicultural makeup. The 2011 census only asked if people's parents were born in Australia or overseas. This time... And we've been able to expand this question to capture the actual country of birth of a person's father and a person's mother. And so we'll get a lot on greater and richer picture of our, our second generation migrants in Australia. On the question of faith, the no religion option will jump from last to first. When a similar change happened in New Zealand, Christianity lost its majority. The number of Australians identifying as non-religious has already increased significantly in the last century, from one in 250 in 1911 to just over one in five at the last census in 2011. Of course, the decline in formal religious belief doesn't necessarily mean there's a decline in spirituality. The Atheist Foundation is launching a campaign asking people to consider whether being born into a religion means they actually identify with it. It's entirely possible that this might have implications on funding for particular groups out there, such as hospitals, such as uh, charities. I would have thought the Atheist Foundation could have found something better to spend its money on with all the needs in our community. Two out of every three people are expected to fill out the census online this year, either on their mobile, tablet, desktop or laptop. That would make it the biggest online event in Australia's history. The census, which is compulsory, will take place on August 9. Helen Espista, SBS World News.